Hey guys, uh, I'll, I'll be doing a review of Dragon Ball Thor G9 Gaming Mouse. Yeah, this is the box which it came in. It looks like a proper gaming product. We get a free mouse pad as well, which we'll come to that later. Okay. And we have this user manual. And a small driver CD and software. Okay, coming to the mouse. First impressions. It looks really good. Feels premium gaming mouse. The texture here is really smooth and feels premium. And as you can see, the lighting effects are also awesome. And the scroll wheel is lit up. And the DPI switch you can see is lit up. Yeah. Uh, coming to the form factor, this mouse is quite huge, uh, but it's really comfortable. Uh, for comparison, which I was using, the previous mouse which I was using was Rocket Kova Plus, which I'll keep it here. This is the Rocket Kova Plus gaming mouse. It's pretty big compared to that, but I didn't feel it to be uncomfortable. It's really comfortable. If you keep this, there is this these two support here for these two fingers, which really feels good. Yes, and coming to the cable, it's a braided cable with red black on it, which looks good. Which goes along with the theme. <coughs> There's the DPI switch which you can cycle through DPIs on the fly. And there's this button here which you can set it to any function you want. And there is a button. There are two buttons here. These two buttons are actually very soft. They're not hard buttons. Yeah, this side no buttons. Coming to the bottom. There's this blue track technology which they say. Yeah. This portion looks a little plasticky, but we can't expect more at this price range. Seriously, for this price, it feels awesome. Yeah, compare com coming to the software. This is the software provided. It has all the options to change the color, switch on the breathe, switch off the breathing light, or switch off the lights itself, change between six colors which is red, orange, blue ice blue and green and purple although orange is not orange it's like light green and you can change the sensitivity DPI settings and other settings here yeah the software is basic and good that's good overall I would say this mouse is really good for this price and it looks completely like a premium gaming mouse um, yeah so I think I'd recommend this mouse to any gamer I just hope that it'll last long enough maybe I'll do an updated review later yes okay then thank you thank you for watching